in this video I'm going to show you our dual caliper line kit that we get manufactured by Hell Performance and how to install it. Typically I sell them in black but if you want to wait for a custom order I can order them in any colour. I'll show you what comes with the kit. So it comes with um, three lines. Brass T, a longer stud, and typically a flange nut, two M10 banjo bolts, and one 3 8 banjo belt. The 3 8 is the one that goes to your hydro cylinder, and the M10s are the ones that go to your caliper. Alright, so you'll know that there are three different lengths. The short one is the one that goes from the T to the driver side caliper. This one looks like the middle length one, and this is from the T to the passenger side caliper and this just looks like it's going to be the long one the long one's the one that goes from the T through the car into the master cylinder first things first you'll have to remove the rear seat and the center console I've already pulled them out for the purpose of the video um, after that we can get to fitting the kit All right so you can see the location of the stock T I've pulled the bolt out already but up here anywhere up in this area between the seat belt mounts and this hard line for the rear just drill a 13mm hole in the floor and that will ensure that we will be able to pass a line through it to get to the hydraulic cylinder and it will come down and bolt into the T. So after you've drilled this hole the next step is to fit this new T to that original T and bolt them together so we can start running the lines. So once you pull the belt out it'll be nice and loose and then we can drop the new one on top and screw both of them in to the original mount. It's important when you fit the T that it's, it's fitted like so. So you got one port going towards the front of the car, the center port's going towards the passenger side of the car, and the other port's going towards the rear of the car. So this is the one that runs the longest line, this is the one that runs the middle length line, and the shortest length line goes out of the back to the drive side caliper. All right, now that we've got that in, we can start fitting some lines. All right, we'll st start with the shortest length line. So uh, you'll see that it'll have one end for the banjo and one end that's a male end. The male ends might screws into the T. And then you just unclip the factory line clips so we can run it through with the original one. And then this end will be able to bolt to the caliper that's on the front. Now we can start fitting the middle length line, same deal. Banjo one end, male end on the other end. Um, if you had the diff cover, you would clip it into the top of the diff cover. I've got mine off at the moment. So we'll just screw the male end. into the T and then same deal run it along the factory line and clip it into the clips so this one would clip in with the one on top of the diff cover and then run it to the front of the caliper now that we've drilled this hole in the floor we can take the longest line and uh, it's also got a banjo end and a male end so the male end is going to go through that hole in the floor screw into the T and the banjo end we're going to feed up underneath the carpet to the cylinder. Don't be afraid to undo some clips and uh, tug on the carpet a fair bit. It's a fair bit of work to get it underneath the carpet. I'm going to get it to sit on here. So I've got it to come through the console and 
sit on the port. I'm going to take the one that's 3 8 banjo bolt, and that's the one that's going to secure it. So, flat washer each side. And then bolt through it all. And screw it into the port. And after you got this one in, just pull some of the slack out of it so we can go connect it to the T on the other side. Right after connecting the banjo bolt, we come back under the car, get the male end from that, and we're going to screw it into this T here. You see at the moment I've left everything loose just so I can get it all connected. And then once we've got it all connected we can come back through and tighten it all up. Now we can go onto the calipers and I'll show you how to fit them. Righto, this car has just got one of the standard rotor jaw caliper setups on it at the moment. So it still runs the 31 caliper for the park brake. It runs the VS Commodore caliper for the Hydre. So the VS Commodore caliper is what we're going to fit the jaw caliper line to. In the other pack there was two other banjo belts, both M10s. We're just going to take one of them and two of the copper washers and fit that to this banjo and screw this into the caliper. All right. Now you can do the same on the other side and then tighten everything up, work your way from the back to the front and then you can put all the carpet and the interior back in and bleed it. After it's all bled up, you're good to go. So now you'll have a working hydraulic handbrake and the lines are ADR approved. If you're interested in a dual caliper kit, I have them in my Shopify store and sometimes on eBay. I'll have a link to the stores in the comments. If you like what you've seen, feel free to subscribe and feel free to follow me on Facebook and Instagram as well. I'll endeavour to show you how to fit your own DIY dual caliper kit in the future as well as the EL 300mm kit and the R32 two piston caliper dual caliper kit which doesn't run a park brake. So the only two dual caliper kits that I do for a 31 that run a park brake is the stock rotor one and the 300mm rotor one because it still uses a factory caliper um, and the two piston caliper one doesn't use a park brake at all so it's typically a track only deal. Alright thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.